Hello, everyone. Lindsay Cutter, your mortgage chef, coming to you from Mortgage Chef Live Central Station in Strongsville, Ohio, at my mortgage hub with two very special guests. We have Tom Abrams of the Tom Abrams Shelter Company. Shelter Insurance. Tell me as it is, my man. Tell me as it is. Go ahead, introduce yourself, Tom. Tell us who you are. The insurance guru of the world is here today. Yeah, what's going on? Thanks for having me, Lindsay. Um, yeah, so I've opened my agency back in July of last year. Uh, it's the Tom Abram Agency Shelter Insurance. Uh, shelter Insurance has been around for going on about 77 years now. Uh, we're in 15 different states, Ohio being the 15th. Uh, we've only been in Ohio about six years, so not a lot of, you know, not too many people are familiar with Shelter. Um, but we're, we're a great company, um, and I'm excited to have my agency and, you know, kind of hopefully become the big dog in Ohio. Yeah, working on it, working on it down the street. And then the lovely <laughs> Nina with Hot Doors, the realtor of the year. Here she is. Hi, everybody. So, nice to see you all. <laughs> so so I've worked with Tom and Dana for a while, and, and they're both fantastic folks, and I'm glad to have them on. And what we're going to talk about today is just a little bit of ways to save you a little bit of money on on just life just i mean every everything's more expensive now every time i mean a, a pound of bacon's eight to ten dollars oh my god what happened eggs. oh you can't forget about eggs oh, oh. <laughs> I, mean, I'm, I'm, I, I live an egg-free lifestyle at this point because I, this eleven dollars an egg thing is not working so it, it's, it's it's crazy it's like too much so well i, I guess one of the things we'll, we'll start with is with, with the insurance stuff, we, we get a lot of uh, policies that come over, you know, when we get buyers that are buying homes, and I look at it, and sometimes they have things on there that they maybe <laughs> couldn't have. I mean, like, it'll be super expensive policies, like if the house is 100000 they're insured for three hundred, or they have a policy for, like, jewels and furs and stuff. I'm like, do you have that? And they're like, no. Nah. So, I mean, give us kind of, like, tips and tricks. If you have an insurance policy now, even if it's not with Tom, here's, here's some tips from the professional. Yeah, I mean, I see that all the time. I see that all the time as well. Um, a lot of, you know, I always ask people that when I'm quoting them, you know, do you know your agent? Half the time they don't even know their agent. Yeah. You know, has their agent even taken the time to sit down with you? Yeah. You know, 70% of the time they're saying no. So that's one of the biggest things, Lindsay, you know, taking the time to sit down with your client, getting to know them and their family so that you know exactly what coverages they should have. Because, yeah, a lot of times people, you know, their agents just throwing on stuff or just giving them things that they shouldn't even have. Yeah. So a lot of times they are paying. Well, when we see it, I'm not an insurance professional by any means. But when I see I see a lot of insurance policies being a mortgage lender. But when I see them, I'm like, do you, got, I mean, do you even get it? So I'll be like, not, not that the borrower, just like the agent. So if it's like, say it's a $200,000 house and they're insured for four hundred, say it burns down, do they get four hundred? Like, I think that like it's crazy. It's either appraises for two hundred, but they're insured for four hundred. Like, is there some kind of like gap, or are they just overinsured? Well, they need to make sure that that they're again. That's where the agent needs to sit down with with the the homeowner, and they need to know the house. Okay. Um. You know, I go there myself, and I take pictures of the home, so mm -hmm. I, I see the home. I, I I sit down with the client. I ask them questions. Cool. With their house, so that I know exactly what the house should be insured for, so okay. that you know. You don't want to underinsure the house, sure. but obviously you don't want to overinsure the house either because then you are paying extra. Yeah. So that doesn't make sense either. So we're giving money away. I get it. So well, that makes sense. So Dana, when, it, when the housing market being a little bit different, obviously the rates have changed in the last year and the world's ending and we're all hiding under the desks <laughs> and like, oh my God, yeah. don't buy a house ever again. Don't live live outside, <laughs> buy a cardboard box, it'll be better. And then you can't have eggs. I mean, it's like, <laughs> give me a break at this point. So Dana, give us kind of an, some ideas on how to maybe save a couple bucks in the buyer's market in today's 2023? Um, my biggest recommendation right now would be do an inspection. Okay. I'm really surprised how many times we're dealing with clients or buyers who decide that they don't want to do an inspection Oops. and it comes back and it bites them. Um, getting an inspection is important, especially if it's with a qualified individual, um, mostly because they really investigate the whole house top to bottom. So you're going to really uncover any, undercover anything that's wrong with the house. So you know what you're getting into on top of, you know, your mortgage payment. You know, what else am I going to have to do when I move into this home? What else am I going to have to fix? What yes. is going to break in the next year or two? Um, so the biggest thing would be get an inspection. Spend the extra money to do your due diligence would be the biggest thing. And so the borrowers that you're working with or the, the, the people buying houses, do you have an inspector that you have available? Should they call you directly 
to get that set up? Is that? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, I have a good preferred list that I like to use. Okay. Nine times out of 10, I will make the arrangements. I'll schedule everything for them, uh, making sure times work. That way the buyers are already stressed out to begin with. They just, they're just put an offer in on a house and got yep. accepted. Um, I'll go ahead and schedule everything so they don't have to worry about it. Perfect. Um, and yeah, I just make sure it's with a certified professional. Excellent. So over the last years, I mean, in last years, you've seen everyone like running in the houses. They're bidding 100K over, not paying attention, not doing inspections. They're sending over insurance policies that are ridiculous because they don't care. Everyone's like in this quick, quick movement. Any suggestions from the insurance side that you would suggest like that they should do? I mean, first call you if they have a current policy they did over the last year that maybe they need you to double check because everything went so quick. I mean, I'm getting a lot of folks that go, well, I picked this agent, but I didn't know who they were. Yeah, well, and jumping back to the the uh, inspection, it's definitely worth, you know, spending a couple extra bucks for that better inspection. You know, you might have someone that's $300, you might have someone that's $500, but the biggest thing is the guy that's $500 is probably going to catch most, you know, everything, yeah. which is probably going to end up saving you thousands, potentially thousands of dollars in the, in the absolutely, you know, farther out into the future. So I would rather, those. I, would, <laughs> I would rather spend a couple hundred extra bucks to save me a, a few thousand, right? Doesn't absolutely. that make sense? Yeah. Um, but yeah, you, you definitely want to just, you know, like I said, it's, it's all about knowing your agent. Um, and that's again, you know, your agent, you know, they're going to, they're going to have your back. They're going to make sure you have the right coverages, which in turn is probably going to end up saving you you know, a lot of hassle with your claims and Absolutely. it's going to come down to saving money. So, so if you have a policy and you don't know who your agent is, from, that's, from, that, well, that's, I mean, that's, that, that's a big uh, caution right there. Yeah. You know, too many times I go to ask them and I'm like, you know, and they don't even know who their agent is. I'm like, Hey, who's your agent? And they're like, uh, I don't know. It's with this carrier or this carrier. Yeah. And I'm like, how do you not know your agent? You know, and then they don't even know their coverages. So it's obviously their agent is not doing their job. So, you know, you got to sit down with them. And that's how I, that's what I tell my clients and my potential customers, you know, come into my office, sit down with me so we, we can go over everything, make sure all the boxes are checked, make sure you have the right coverages and obviously try to save you some money. Absolutely. That makes a hundred percent sense. So in today's world, those are a couple of little hacks. If you're buying a house in today's market, it's very important to reach out to professionals because everything was so quick and everything was, was crazy last year, it doesn't mean it has to be this year. Dana, what are you seeing on the, on the housing prices for buyers? Is it still outrageous? Are people paying hundreds of thousands of dollars over list still? I mean, I hear it's coming down, but like, what, what's really going on? Like, tell us the truth of the matter, not what we read on the news. Right. A lot is leveling out right now. Um, I definitely don't believe that people are going in thousands and thousands over asking. Um, it's more of a patient market right now. It obviously still has its peak. We're getting into spring season, which is always a busy season, um, but it's definitely leveled out. And um, I think that it's going to be an easier time, especially for first-time home buyers. They'll finally have a chance to get that house of their dreams. So yeah, that's great. So now the first speaking of first-time home buyers. So if you are a first-time home buyer and you're confused, we actually uh, the Mortgage Chef, Chef Central here work with a lots of first-time home buyers, and we have actually this year many more programs than we've had in the past that. that fit those molds and it's really nice. So now if you're worried, okay, I'm going to buy a house. I don't know what to do. First step is call one of the three of us. I mean, you're going to need insurance. You probably have it on your car. Let Tom review it because you may not even know who your agent is. I mean, I get nine, I, 10 people call me. You'd be surprised. I don't know who their agent is. They tell me who the company is. I'm like when's the last time you talked to them? They're like, I don't know. When I looked online. Yeah, and especially if you're a first time home buyer, you definitely want to sit down with their agent um, because you don't want to just go online or you don't want to just call in and just say, Hey, just give me this or whatever. You want to sit down, see what, you know, what the house is, what you have inside the home. Absolutely. Um, and make sure that you check all the boxes and for sure. If you're a home, first time home buyer, that's very important. And I hate admitting it, but the number of people that reach out to me that have something happen in their home, they ask me, will this, can I file a claim on this? And I'm like, well, I, that's definitely an insurance question. And they're scared to ask their agent. Yeah. It's happened, I mean, already. Or they probably, don't know who it is. Yeah. It's happened probably 10 times already this year. And oh my gosh. you don't want to be dealing with that when you already have something going on with your home. You, you know, you want to feel comfortable with who you're dealing with. Well, let's, let's back up to what you said in the beginning, though. A lot of this, I mean, the insurance agent's a million percent important. I mean, you've got to have the right person. But if you're not doing an inspection of this, now you're double dipping into the bad pot. I mean, you're going the wrong direction here. It's like you're asking for trouble. It's, you know, not always do 
they find everything. But if you make an educated decision on stuff or make an educated choice to be a little bit more proactive, you may have less issues Absolutely. in the past. So if you're a first time home buyer and you're scared of making the first move, call us. Dana works w with you. She'll be able after you're pre-approved to show you the house because if you're not pre-approved, the big thing that with that is why you get pre-approved. And so we know when you go look at the houses and she finds the house of your dreams, it's the house you can afford of your dreams, not the house that you just went and viewed that someone else is going to buy because you can't be pre-approved for. And then when you go for insurance, don't pay an extra $50 or whatever it happens to be with someone that doesn't know what the hell they're doing. Please, for God's sakes, call the local professionals. Where's your office now? Tell me where we're at. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about five minutes down the road from here. Um, it's right on the corner of West, 180, West 130th and 82. Okay, perfect. Right in North Royalton. I've been. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's very beautiful. Lots of room for activities. It's, yeah, it's 13515 West 130th is the address. So it's not too far right down the street. And Dana, Hot Doors is down the street as where? Well, I know you're mobile and move around everywhere. <laughs> yes, we are on Drake Road in Strongsville, Ohio. Perfect. Well, this has been great, guys. If you're buying a house, if you need updated insurance, if you don't know what your insurance is doing, or if you want to see a house with a professional realtor, call the one to three of us. We all know each other. We'll talk to you soon. Have a great week, everyone. Bye, guys.